What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing Waves, uh, written and directed by Taylor Schultz. He also did It Comes at Night. I've never seen It Comes at Night, so this is pretty much my debut into you know his work. Um, it stars you know Kelvin Harrison Jr., Taylor Russell, and Sterling K. Brown. Lucas Hedges is also in it. Who's uh, he's been a lot of stuff lately. Kelvin Harrison Jr. He's been he's been popping up a lot lately too. He was in the movie Loose, and he's on Godfather Harlem, and now this. I didn't even notice he was in Godfather Harlem until after I watched Waves, and then I watched the last. I got to do a review of Godfather Harlem by the way too. First of all, let me let me apologize to everyone out here for my fumbles. I fumble quite often. Uh, I fumble on actors' names. I fumble on character names, and sometimes movie titles. Like I fumbled on 42, and it was 41, 41, 42, whatever the hell it was. I fumbled, and I apologize, man, because these reviews are coming straight off the dome, and I straight fumbled. And I apologize, but it's part of the process. It's part of the, you know, what's going on here. You know what I mean? And I don't have a team back there vetting everything I say. This is just, we, we raw with it. This is, my review is like we all coming fresh out of the theater and just talking about it in the moment. And you know, somebody always fumbles. Somebody always fumbles. You be like, yeah, because you know, Don Johnson. Don Johnson, you mean, you mean Brad Pitt? Yeah, yeah, that's who I was talking about. I mean, it's not that you know, glaring of a fumble, but I apologize. I, I see the fumbles after the fact. Anyway, Waves. So it's a story about a suburban family that, you know, the father's really pushing the son to excel with his grades and his sports. He, he's, he's on the wrestling team. So, you know, he's trying to push him, you know, to be, you know, excel at everything, because that's his mindset as a black father. He's just like, yo, you know, we, we, we have to, we got to be better than everybody else. So he's trying to push him super hard, pressure's on. He ends up getting a little injury in his shoulder. He goes to the doctor. The doctor tells him, yo, you, you need to stop, bro. Like, stop everything. He's like, nah, maybe I can just push through the season. You need to push through this stop right now. That's what the hell you need to push through. And people don't listen to their doctor. They don't listen to the doctors. He kept pushing on, and then he gets he gets really hurt. So now you know you can't play. If you can't play, you probably won't get that scholarship. You know he's he's getting hooked on painkillers and this, that, and the third. You know him and his girlfriend are going at it. So it's it's basically just like real life. You know problems that many American families go through. You know what I mean. And so we we see how this family deals with a huge loss in the process and how they can come together after that loss. So it's very, it's very character driven. The direction is very like uh, visual. It's a lot of like, the director was showing off. You know, he was showing out with these visuals. Like very like interesting camera angles. This is one camera angle, this is one of the takeaways where it's just like a, 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 a rotating shot of them in the car. So you you getting the full you getting the driver the the windshield the passenger the back of the car and it's just doing that I'm like man that's pretty impressive that they got a shot like that with the camera in there and so that was like a recurring theme in there so I was really like I really noticed the directorial style he definitely put his signature on it uh, very colorful it's shot in Florida so it kind of made me think of uh, Moonlight. In that sense, a lot of a lot of scenes in the water and stuff like that. The camera in the water and stuff like that. So, it made me think of Moonlight in that regard. Another takeaway is, like, man, like, families are so families are sometimes the worst communicators of all time. Like, family isn't always a place where you can go to for refuge. Like if you're dealing with things, you want to keep it from your parents because they put this pressure on you and so you don't want to bring anything to them. They might go over the top, they might blow a fuse or they, you don't feel safe confiding in your parents. Or you know, you you may be going through stuff at school, you can't confide in, 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 your, in your friends or your classmates or whatever. You might be going through stuff with them as well. So it's like, where do you turn to? And so, and with family, you can't run to them all the time. Cause it's like, oh, if I tell my dad this, this, that, and the third is gonna happen, if I tell my mom. And so you really get to see that in this movie. And it made you really reflect and like, wow, like 
what would you do as a family in this situation? Like, what, what's the next move? And so it was very interesting to see. The performances are really good. Like, uh, the whole family, Taylor Russell, you know, Kevin Harrison Jr., Sterling K. Brown, the performances are really good in this film. Like, uh, you, you can feel that. It was probably taxing, you know, emotionally to play these roles. And I was like, man, you felt every piece. It's a long movie, though. I felt every minute of it. I felt every goddamn minute. I was like, yo, this is long. Like, I was sitting there in the movie theater thinking about it, like, yo, we we still in here. Because it is, it's very interesting how they tell the story. And it, it's kind of like it's the movie split into two chapters. And I don't want to give too much away, and, and you'll see what I mean. But certainly, certainly Brown will probably end up with an Oscar nomination for it. And I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh, you know, the kids can get a slider Oscar nomination up out of that as well. Um, I thought the performances were really good. This is a one and done for me. Like I won't be, this won't be a repeat viewing for me, but I felt like it got the job done. Uh, I felt like this is a very real family and, and you know, some very tragic happens and it's good to see the trajectory what, what leads up to the tragedy. Like, you know, when we see tragedies in real life, we just read the article and be like, yo, this dude, this dude is that, this girl is this. Well, we don't know the full lead up to anything in real life, so you get that lead up. But forget all that, y'all wanna know the smooth jazz review of Waves, well here it is. Oh yeah. I'm giving Waves four saxophones out of five. I know y'all saying it, man, you keep giving fours. Tis the season. I mean, technically, what they presented, I felt like there was no acting involved. I mean, it, it felt like I wasn't watching actors act. And when you do that, you're killing it. And it was just, you know, it served its purpose. Is it like a movie I would re repeat? No, but the movie did what it did and it did it well. All right, peeps, that's my review of Waves. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comment section below. Have you seen the trailer? Let me know. And Sterling K. Brown, it always looks like he's about to cry. Every goddamn time, it always looks like he's fighting tears. Man, every, everything he's saying. You want some, you want some scrambled eggs? Always on the brink of just tears. But anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, man. And as usual, we out here.